Hi, I'm Tony Van Veen, CEO of Tastemakers. Chilling here on a rainy Saturday morning and thinking about you. Guess what? Ever since CD Baby announced a couple of months ago that they were going to shut down their warehouse and end their CD distribution service, we've been inundated with artists asking two questions. Number one, is this maker stopping with the manufacturing of CDs? And number two, where can I distribute and sell my CDs now? Today, I'm going to answer those two questions. I'll also talk about why, very frankly, it's not a big deal for you that CD Baby discontinued their CD distribution. So let's start with question number one. Are we exiting the CD manufacturing business? Simple answer, hell no. CDs are alive and well. They represent great value for the artist and at a cost of a buck or two per disc, it's a highly necessary tool for artists to make money today from their music. So no, you can relax. We'll be here to make your CDs for as long as you need them. Now for question number two, where can you distribute and sell your CDs now? The answer is more nuanced and complex. The reality of it is that for the average emerging artist without a track record of sales, there is no alternative. CD Baby was the only distributor who would take a few copies of any CD by any artist, whether it was demand for your music or not. But that meant, frankly, that most of the titles in their warehouse didn't sell anything in a given year. I'm guessing that on average, they may have sold maybe one CD per year for each title in their inventory. If they had 250,000 CD titles in their warehouse, maybe they sold 250,000 CDs in a year. Of course, the way those numbers work in real life, that means that there were a few artists who sold a bunch of CDs, dozens, hundreds maybe, and the vast majority then of artists who sold none. And for CD Baby, who has to warehouse all those titles that don't sell, that just was not a sustainable business model. So I understand why CD Baby shut down their distribution operation. The question now is, what does this mean for you? Where can you go for distribution? <clears throat> there are a few distributors out there that take some independent content. One such company, for example, is Amped Distribution. Their division of Alliance Entertainment who I believe is the largest physical media distributor in the country and who also happened to be CD Baby's distribution partner. However, Amped will not take just any independent title. Amped is in the business of distributing, of moving CDs, not of warehousing them. So in order for them to accept your title, you would need to have a track record of moving units. Now, think about your situation. If you had distribution through CD Baby and you're upset that they ended their CD distribution service, be honest with yourself for a minute. Look in the mirror and ask yourself how many of your CDs CD Baby sold in the past year. I know that for my old CD titles, that number was close to zero. Was yours much higher? Then ask yourself if you were a music distributor. Would you be interested in adding a CD title with that level of volume, moving one or zero units per year to your catalog and storing copies in your warehouse on top of that? Probably not, right? So why didn't you sell more CDs? And if you're going to tell me it's because no one buys CDs any longer, you would be wrong. Yes. CDs are a mature technology. But even so, over 40 million CDs were sold at retail last year and probably millions more sold at concerts. No, I'm going to be perfectly blunt about why you didn't sell more CDs. You didn't create enough demand for your music. If you've watched any of my videos so far, you'll know that it's up to you to generate demand for your music. Why does Taylor Swift sell a ton of CDs or Morgan Wallen or SZA? the three top album sellers this year. Because they have created demand. Label or not, these artists have been able to become recognized names with fan bases who will spend money on their product. And the music retailers who buy from the music distributors know this. They know that when they stock a Tay Tay CD or album, people will buy it. When you had distribution through CD Baby, why didn't stores order your CD? Because Unlike Taylor Swift, they don't know you. 
you don't have a track record of selling units at retail and your fans aren't calling the stores asking for your CDs. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to berate you. I'm in the same boat as you. You do your music thing your way. What I am trying to do is explain to you the following five things. Number one, you're in charge of generating demand for your music. Number two, if you don't have a track record of selling product, stores will not order or stock your album. Number three, for that reason, very little DIY artist volume is sold through distribution in the first place. Number four, which means that frankly, if every artist sold on average one CD per year on CD Baby, it doesn't really matter that CD Baby stopped distributing CDs. Well, perhaps psychologically, and maybe for a few artists who moved some units, but for most of us, our CD Baby royalties were already coming from streaming, not so much from physical. And number five, most independent artist CDs are sold through channels other than distribution. Boy, it's really pouring now. So, how do you sell your CDs then? Well, selling CDs today is about interacting directly with your fans. When you have a relationship with your fans, they will buy your stuff, your CDs, your vinyl, your t-shirts, your concert tickets, and they will buy them from you. So where and how do you sell your CDs? Number one, at concerts, especially if you offer to autograph them. Number two, on your website, a hosting company like Banzoogle lets you sell CDs off your website and take no sales commission. Number three, on your Bandcamp page. Number four, at your local record store. You can drop in with a few CDs or records and ask if they'll take them on consignment. They might be interested if you offer to do a CD signing in their store. I think most mom and pop record stores will happily support local artists. And number five, at other local stores, depending on your music, of course. For example, over the years, I've heard from different artists and clients who sold their discs in local bookstores, in stores that sold crystals and other natural items, in stores that sold yoga-related products, and for one of them, in their local Caribbean restaurant. If your music fits thematically with a store, you may have a shot at selling there if you ask. Of course, there are plenty of other uses for your CD, mailing them as promos to radio stations and booking agents, for example, and wrapping them up and putting them under the Christmas tree. Look, it doesn't make a difference how small and local your fan base is. If you make a connection with those fans through your music and in person at your concerts and through your emails and social posts, they will buy your CDs. So, don't be too bummed out about CD Baby stopping CD distribution. Most of us weren't really selling much product there anyway. Focus on the basics. Great songwriting, great shows, high quality recordings, interacting with your fans in a friendly, professional way. If you do those things, your career will bloom. You will get lots of streams, you'll sell CDs and records and concert tickets. Just remember, once you've made it, to put your friends at Disc Makers on the guest list, plus one, when you come through town. I hope you found this helpful. I'll see you next time.